What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to look at mobility exercises for the neck or cervical spine. So if you feel like you've got pain in your neck and you notice that it's stiff or your range of motion is limited, then you'll want to stay tuned for today's exercises. Before I jump into today's exercises, I just want to mention that my new book is available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. The book includes programs with pictures of me doing the exercises for the most common orthopedic injuries and pain issues. Each body region has its own chapter. So today we're looking at the neck, at mobility exercises for the neck. If we go back here, the neck chapter is one of the first chapters and I have four programs here in the neck section. This first one here, general neck pain, all of the programs are broken into three phases. And you'll see here, this is just one page in the program. I cover cervical or neck mobility in this neck pain program. So the book again has, uh, each body region has its own chapter. It's meant to be sort of a coffee table reference book that you have at your house. Anytime something comes up, plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, sciatica, whatever you have going on, you can open the book up and find a program to help with that issue. So if you'd like to get the book, I will put a link down in the description. Before we get into the mobility exercises, there, it's important to know that the neck actually has six different movements, and these are things that we will assess and measure in physical therapy. So besides having some mobility exercises you can run through from this video, I also want you just to see what normal range of motion looks like. That way you can kind of test yourself and determine what you need to work on. First, we're gonna look at flexion and extension. These are movements that are basically kind of going from down chin to chest and then looking up to the ceiling. So when we look at flexion, bringing your head forward, you should basically be able to get your chin pretty close to your chest, which is around 80 to 90 degrees of flexion. So I should be able to go all the way down and again, get my chin pretty close to my chest. So that is considered full range of motion for flexion. You might even feel a stretch in the muscles on the back of your neck, your cervical extensors when you go into flexion. And then for extension, we need about 80, 70 to 80 degrees of extension. So that is almost being able to look all the way up to the ceiling where your face gets pretty close to being parallel with the ceiling. Extension is one that we see a lot of people develop stiffness as they age, so it's a good one to keep practicing. So again, those are our two sagittal plane motions. We've got flexion, chin to the chest, and then extension getting the face close to parallel with the ceiling. Our next two movements are left and right side bend. These movements occur in the frontal plane and it involves moving your ear towards your shoulder. So normal cervical lateral flexion or side bend range of motion is said to be about 45 degrees, which is if you keep your head straight, it's tilting over and creating somewhere around a 45 degree angle. If you're looking at the center of your face, we're starting here at vertical and looking at going over to about 45 degrees. So you want to check both sides, your left side bend and your right side bend. Try not to rotate your neck either direction while you're doing it. Try to just move perfectly into side bend, kind of ear to shoulder, with, again, without turning. A lot of times people want to turn and look down. So just kind of straight over. You may feel a stretch in the opposite side. A lot of times people will feel a stretch in their upper trapezius muscle on the opposite side. So just pay attention to what you feel. You know, for me, going to my left side feels quite a bit easier. Going to the right, I get more of a stretch and feel some tightness. So again, these are mobility assessments, but they also just become mobility exercises. They're good things to just practice throughout the day. A lot of us don't take our neck through full range of motion in these six different movements. So these are good to practice. Again, we see uh, that people lose cervical range of motion as they age, but practicing these things can help to maintain your mobility. Our last two movements are left and right rotation. So this involves just turning to look over your shoulder as far as you can. This one, you want to make sure you stay in rotation and that you don't side bend. So try to keep your face neutral and then just move through pure rotation as far as you can. The normal for this is around 80 degrees. So usually people can't get fully over their shoulder, but they can get pretty close almost to that 90 degree mark, so about 80 degrees. So just work on going both directions Check your rotation both ways and see again if one feels tighter than the other. And again, you know, with all these, you could just do them throughout the day. Maybe you're going to do a few reps of the of rotation. So you might just do 10 each direction. Then maybe a few hours later, you go back to your side bend 
and then later in the day you do flexion and extension. So again, I just like to build these in to the person. You don't have to sit down and do all of them together. They're just there to help maintain and improve mobility in your neck. And it usually works best to spread mobility exercises throughout the day rather than doing just one big chunk. So give those a try. We've got flexion and extension, left and right side bend, and left and right rotation, those six movements. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.